Ready? Yep. Audio's recording? Hey, yes. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out The Fall from Foam Brewers. <laughs> So an autumnal beer fits the season pretty well. This is, um, I'm gonna guess this is a Martzen. It looks, the text looks old English <laughs> and it looks like something that you'd see in a castle. I'm gonna call this one a Martzen, but we'll see. What it's also exactly it is. 5%, so that's around Martzen territory when we were looking at ABVs. Oh yeah, that color. The color. Indicates that that's probably what it is. So sorry about the weird release schedule, guys. As you can see, we're in a new place. This is our house we just bought. Pretty fantastic. So we had to take some time to get everything right and fix it up, put blinds up, build furniture, that sort of thing. So our brew review schedule has been a little, little weird lately. So our apologies about that, but we're on it. Okay, well, let's take a nose on this and see what this thing is. It's not very malty. Like I'm not getting a lot of like malty notes on the nose. I'm getting a bit of spice. A little floraliness to mm -hmm. it as well. Okay, yeah. I mean, this this smells malty, a little bit spicy. Let's dive in, and I'm thirsty. I just want to go. Happy Halloween! Cheers. Cheers. So this is definitely a Martin, or a Martin style. Uh, very malt forward beer, but it's not quite as. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not quite as present in the malt department. Right, I'm not getting a lot of sweetness that you generally get from the malts. It's kind of reserved. Mm -hmm. It's a very drinkable beer. I think they brewed this to be like really crushable because it really is. Like it's got that toasty kind of character to it. It is aromatic once you start drinking it. It has this kind of nuttiness to it, but like you said, a little less sweetness than a lot of the ones we've tried. Right. Um, a little bit of spiciness from the hops there, um, but it's definitely not uh, not as densely malty as some of the other ones we've had. With just a pinch of spiciness. Yeah, just not, enough. Not spiciness as in heat, but as in like spices. I'm wondering why they called it a tumnal, like an autumnal beer, like that's a strange, it fits a season, but why not just call it a Martzen? or a Martzen style. I don't know, maybe because everybody else is doing that. Maybe they felt like being different. I guess that they just mean that it's uh, of the season. Or maybe they didn't want to classify it and put themselves in that like, that segment, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, another Martzen beer for the Oktoberfest. Maybe they were like, nah, we're gonna call it an autumnal beer because maybe that sounds better. It does sound better. I think so. So yeah, overall, I, I really like this one. I think this is probably one of my favorite um, autumnal beers that we've had this year. Maybe not than last year. I think my favorite one from last year was either, it might've been the Princess from Smart Mouth, or it might've been the Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest was actually really good. That one was good. It was. Um, I would rank this one up there with that one. I think this one might be a little bit better because it's a little more drinkable for me, stylistically. Yeah. This one's just kissing that and kind of hopping right off of it. Whereas the other ones dive head first. So I like this one. It's a different take and I'm digging it. Yeah, I think it's a well well done Martin style autumnal beer. I think this is the only autumnal beer I've ever had that's actually called a autumnal beer. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, I think anything with spices in it could be considered autumnal. I guess. Like, that's kind of the only, that's the only season you see spiced beer, right? Yeah, totally dig it. Foam coming out with some good stuff. We got a couple more from Foam uh, pretty soon here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see where that takes us. But Foam is never, I don't think they've ever let us down. I think they're one of those breweries. We've, we had them at Snallygaster in 2019? Yeah, last year. Yeah, last year. And um, it was really good, I remember. And yeah, and I everything think there was good. 
we've had just like random random one-offs, drops like yeah for like um tap takeovers and they were also super very good. good so yeah i think this is a brewery that just cranks out good good beer every time so we're gonna keep our eye on that a couple more to review uh from them and uh yeah that's it Fuck yeah New house, new yes, ending, right? See you next time, or stay tuned for next time. See you next time, brothers and sisters. <laughs> that sounds cult-like, like a beer, yeah. like a beer cult. Let's not do that. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Then we're done. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Bitches. Me too. Uh.